Valentine's Day, right around the corner. But with inflation being the highest it's been in decades, the price of celebrating may make you think twice. BNC's Candace Cole has a look at how much V-Day, Valentine's Day, gifts have gone up this year. Roses are red, violets are blue, but what is the cost to impress your boo? With inflation reaching the highest we've seen since the early 80s, your wallet may not exactly be feeling the love this Valentine's Day. And you're good to Very go. Nice. Thank, thank you so much. All right. I appreciate I it. This is beautiful. Oh, thank Sarah you. Lucas has been in business nearly 35 years. Her yeah, shop, petals, so close, ribbons, and beyond has been a mainstay here in DC's Brookland neighborhood. And a lot of times, people didn't even know we were here, but because they got a flower order from us, then they realized, oh, there's a flower shop in the neighborhood. Lucas has dealt with fluctuating prices, adjusting accordingly. And we want people to come in and come to us, not only on Valentine's Day, but a month from now, come back and buy flowers. She says business dipped nearly 40% when the pandemic hit, but bounced back quickly last year. Now, due to inflation and supply chain issues, she's seen prices jump at least 20%. Everything that was sort of imported, prices have gone up, including flowers, vases, containers, you know, all the mechanical things we sort of work with here. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, Inflation sits at 7.5%, sending the cost of everything from avocados to auto parts soaring. And Valentine's Day gifts are no different. Roses are up 54%, diamonds up 15%, and chocolate 9%, according to personal finance site The Balance. Think you'll fare better going straight to dinner on V-Day? Think again. Lobster is up 27% and filet mignon up 63% per pound compared to last year. Price hikes. President Biden says his administration is working tirelessly with lawmakers to remedy. I think the president is confident that we're going to get uh, something extremely important done here. What that exactly looks like, we're in discussions with folks uh, up on Capitol Hill about that. Despite inflation, consumers are set to spend a whopping $23.9 billion on gifts this Valentine's Day. That's $2 billion more than last year, making it the second highest year on record, according to the National Retail Federation. The same is the case for Mrs. Lucas, but she tries to maintain reasonable prices for all of her clientele. Some person wants to buy a $15 bouquet, then that's available. Then you have other people who come in and they want to buy a $115 bouquet. So, you know, you have to sort of have a wide range of items available for everybody who comes in. And we try to do that because you just can't price everybody out of the market. Now, experts say we're right now in the peak of inflation and President Biden is confident that we will soon feel some relief by the end of the year. In the meantime, financial planners say to stave off any extra spending if you can, stay away from big ticket items and throw your money into your investments instead of your savings account. In D.C. for BNC, I'm Candace Cole.